Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Grandmaster Nightfall. I am doing it on the Hunter, and that means all classes have been done this week. I can't promise it's going to be like every week, but I mean, it's an easy enough Grandmaster. And I was asked to provide a Hunter run, so I had to come up with a interesting build to get it done. So, weapons are going to be the same, 7th Seraph Auto, Tyranny of Heaven, and Galahorn. This is where the difference is, because I wanted to see if we could do an efficient cheese, if you like, uh, where we could just throw grenades. And the, hunt, the hunter, historically, is not good at doing that. So, I had a rummage about in the exotics and found the Frosties, which I've never used, ever. I've never used the Frosties, not even, not, not once. But it turns out, when you run, they regenerate your abilities faster. Well, some people don't know that. I, I wasn't aware of how good it was. It's actually really good. So we're coupling it with Bomber. And as you'll see, this was actually on a par with the Titan solo for time. Maybe, maybe slightly slower, but not much. Definitely a lot faster than the Warlock. So, the other mods you'll have seen on the screen there, I've got uh, Powerful Friends. We've got 94 Mobility, 97 Discipline. If you've got 100 of each, you'll do this better. If you're putting on Powerful Friends, I've also got Reactive Pulse, which means I get a powerful overshield when I finish uh, anything. If you've got one Arc mod on, it will serve both of your Arc mods. So, if you've got one Arc mod on, and then you were... Uh, You've got one arc mod on your chest plate for your powerful friends. You do not need to have another arc mod on for uh, if you're using another another mod that requires you to have an arc mod. So one arc mod will get you your secondary ability for all of them. Uh, and I'm emphasizing that because I was told <laughs> in the comments of another video. So if that person's watching, I appreciate the heads up on that. So... What else is there to be said? This is going to be roughly the same as... In fact, it's actually going to be... I think I think the Titan run might have been the easiest. The inv Invis helps. You'll have seen the, uh, the, the, the fragments and the aspects that I've got on. Do not pay attention to too much of the abilities of them. Obviously, I wanted grenades weaken enemies. I also wanted grenades last longer. But then I put something on to give me more discipline. That is the only reason the fragments are set up the way that they are. Now, you'll see, whenever you sprint, you'll get this uh, line of text on the left-hand side of your screen. And it's almost immediate. Rapid cooldown. I'll get a dodge. When I am running, uh, you'll see my abilities will come back faster. Now, I think it's like 27 seconds... From constant running, 27 seconds, you get a grenade back. With the dodge, it's closer to 22. So 22 seconds, I will get a grenade every 22 seconds. Because from running, uh, I get my dodge back faster as well, right? So very, very good build. And you'll see, I had this crazy idea. I was going to have to run around in circles at the boss. And I, and I was thinking to myself, that's... that's that's crazy, I don't really want to do that. And you'll see I actually do do it for maybe the first two grenades. And then I realise there's actually a much easier way to do it. So you can see just, just there, just that one thing. Uh, there was a sniper around there. I could go invis. He didn't know I was there. And then just take him out. Absolutely, you know, top tier. I'm still using the same weapons. Uh, I, I swear by the, the uh, I swear by a bow. I love the bow, so I kind of swear by that for for a DPS output weapon. Uh, I uh, some people say it's kind of difficult to use. I don't think so. I think if you're having a problem putting down barriers with it, you're not using it correctly. If you crit with it, then it's gold. If you get a crit on the barrier before he's put his shield up, which is the main part of it, do it before he puts his shield up. So be ready to hit him when his shield goes up. 
If you get that immediate crit, I'm just going to burn another heavy because I can see I've got heavy down there. If uh, if you get a crit as soon as he puts his shield up, he his, uh, his uh, shield will go to 50% straight away. Especially, especially if you're matching the burn. Now, weapon roll really matters. So if you've got explosive head, explosive payload, then, then it's going to work then. If you get a shot straight away, puts the shield to 50%, but more importantly, it stops him from regenerating his health inside his shield. And that gives you time, especially if you've got decent draw, draw time. All these things are important. Draw time, perks, they're all very important when it comes to bows. You can't just pick up a bow, eat arc, soul, avoid it. It doesn't really matter what sort of bow it is. You can't just pick it up and expect it to do really good if it's got really bad perks, right? I say really bad, not efficient perks. Second thing, when you pick this uh, solar charge up, drop it between the two channels if you just want to get this first champion out. If you want, just want to get him out, drop it there. Don't bring it any further because if you do, then you're going to get ads out, you're going to get dogs, you're going to get everything. If you just drop it, if you don't bring it past that second channel, you will just get that champion. Which is what we done, which is what we had. Now we're just going to go and find that other brick of heavy that I cannot remember exactly where it is. There it is. We'll pick up this brick of heavy, then we'll go and get a charge, and then once we take the charge over, we'll get the thresher, we're going to get the dogs, we're going to get the full nine. With explosive payload, uh, the dogs, snipers, they're all a one hit, especially if you're matching the bungs. You've got to remember, you're doing 25% extra damage. Now, I'll keep picking up this uh, solar charge. Uh, he escapes in the end. Oh, little heathen. So, you, you're getting that extra 25%, which you'll see here from the shots I'm doing, that extra 25% is applied to your explosive rounds as well. I mean, there's just, what is there not to love about explosive rounds? So, again, we're going to go up here because I'm not going to risk messing, just using heavy ammo to try and take the champion down when I can just come up here, drop this. I'm going to take the sniper because solar burn, and I'm going to put a grenade, just recharge the, recharge the charge, pick it up so that, because you can see just at the bottom, it does have a timer. So I'm just going to pick it up. Now we'll break his shield. And then I'm going to put two galley on him. Reload my galley. And then everything's good. I've picked up the, the charge. This just means that it, it's, it really is a time thing. Now, I could have went and slammed straight away. And that would have brought the next wave of ads out. Instead, I'm going to go and pick this heavy up. And what that allows me to do... Let's just check the area just real quick for any dogs that might be about. You know those things love to hide. So when you slam it, you'll get you'll get this wave of ads that comes out. And what I like to do, especially on the, 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 the hunter, is if you put a smoke down, it just it should have stopped them all from running. As you can see, one of them did run because he never got affected at all by by the smoke or grenade. I've got enough rockets, so I'm going to put, put one on the elite. I could have took him down with the bow, but I've got enough. I'm going to finish this champion. That gives me another two, maybe three. So, dodge, that gives me a little bit of my grenade back. We'll stop the unstoppable and then change to the bow because the bow will do more damage to him. Even though we're not getting as many shots off, it does more damage to him per shot. Now, I've noticed it's roughly about 25% of, of this damage, the damage we're doing here when he's stopped. What, sorry, when he unstops, you do 25% of the damage you'll do when he is stopped. So, if you do need to just take a little bit off him to get him finished, you don't have to worry about stopping him to do that. But if it's quite a chunk, stop him every time. So, we'll just shoot that explosive barrel. That will... Uh, I'll take out that Scion. That was really bad grenade. 
Uh, so, decide not to mess about and just put a rocket on them. It means I've got one less rocket going into the going into the, the boss room. Just have a little look to see if we can remedy that. We can't. So, we're going into the boss room now with six. Well, we're going to the ramp to take out the next champion with six. So, while we're on our way there, I think... I'm not sure which way I'm going to release these videos. I've got my Deepstone Crypt themed master to put out. And in there I said, and I never said at the end of it, but I did say during the run that I had some news to announce. I will announce it. I'm very excited by it. I'll announce it. It's not really an announcement. I will inform you guys uh, at the end of the video while I'm dealing with the boss. Uh, very excited. It's something I've wanted to do for quite some time and... It might not seem a lot to anyone else, but it's, it's a cool thing for me. So, at the end of the video, a bit of an announcement, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, again, we just put a rocket on, on the boss. Now, I actually had to keep moving here because the sniper, for some reason, took a real interest in me. And I knew the boss was going to shield again, so I didn't want to risk putting another rocket and not getting the kill. And there we go. So that's the boss down. I used one more rocket there than I, than I would have liked. It is what it is. Sometimes you've got to do that. But there's all in. There's like six champions in this room. Plenty of opportunities to get heavy. As I've said before in previous videos. Heavy ammo for the rocket drops more than any other. In my experience. Any of the other uh, weapons. So... We should be okay for heavy. Now, what I've done when I came in here is obviously I've got grenades weaken enemies and my grenade lasts longer. So I always try and get a grenade, no matter what class I'm on, try and get a grenade on the tank because it will it will increase the damage of your uh, of your your rockets. I'm just waiting to see how many ads are gonna come out here, right? I'm waiting for the unstoppable. If I can see the unstoppable, there, we'll stop him. And I'm just going to try and put something on a bit of everything. And as you can see, if you tether the champion, it was just unfortunate that he never came closer to the time of some of the other ads. I'm just going to put a rocket here. Now, what you're going to see me do is I'm really going to be in the face of this tank. Because if I can get him to... There's two ways to do this. I spoke about this in my last video. In my... Uh, which I'm saying my last video. It might not even be up yet. Uh, I said about doing this where you could kind of run rings a little bit round round the tank. I think I'd do it more from here. But the idea is the tank's uh, cannon is like a fusion rifle needs to charge but the cannon doesn't seem very mobile so from my experience it won't readjust its aim while it's charging it needs to cancel its charge to re-aim so if you don't stay anywhere for any great length of time it, it should never be able to let alone hit you it shouldn't fire So as you can see, I throw a really bad grenade, and well, it is what it is. I could do it laps, and uh, see there, I've got heavy. Didn't know I had heavy. Uh, I could do laps and get my grenade back pretty, pretty soon. Uh, the dodge gives me the dodge gives you about ten percent of your grenade, which it, which is as I say, it's I think it cuts about six seconds of the grenade time off. So you can almost, when we get to the boss, we're almost going to be throwing three grenades every 60 seconds. Which is cool. Now we want these guys to come back. I'm just going to drop a grenade on the front front guy. And luckily, both of them wanted a piece, which is nice. And that's, that's uh, all of them. All three of them are down. Now I'm just going to pick off the other enemies. I can see I've got another brick there, which is cool. I'm just going to whittle this champion down. Once you get this unstoppable champion to the point where you can finish him, push down over 
Watch out for the barriers up top. But just push push over here. He'll he'll drop down. He'll get clapped. And then we, now we've got six rockets. And we've got another brick upstairs. So now we're going to do exactly what we've been doing with the other champions. I know I, I heard a cha uh, one of the enemies uh, jumping down. But it was a real bad day for him. So I'm just going to try and drop a grenade on the champion. And try and break his shield while he's still in, in firing range. There he is. So I'll put two rockets on him. We'll see what that does. Well, that's what it does. Sometimes, and that's what should happen every time. Every time you put two rockets on, on a champion. That is kind of what should happen. But sometimes, for whatever reason, I couldn't tell you what reason. Sometimes it doesn't do that damage. Uh, great thing about having the hunter, he's over to our right, is that we can go invisible, which means we can sneak up very nicely. And there we go, we bro broke his shield. And now because I've got so much heavy, we're not even going to mess about. Just put another rocket on him. That's him dead. Pick up this heavy here. So I've got I've got uh, six, six rockets. I'm going to leave that other brick there. In case I need it when the after whatever we're gonna do with the tank and then the 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 unstoppables, we might need to get myself a heavy injection. So I always I always like to take the top uh, console first, then come down here and get this one because I feel as if I do that, I'm out of the the danger zone. I'm gonna put another rocket. We're just gonna try and get rid of this tank. As quickly as possible. And that gets rid of the tank, right? So, no messing about. That's probably... If I'm being honest, that is probably why I saved a bit of time. And we'll just toss a grenade, try and land a grenade on these phalanxes. I, I leave that uh, unsanctioned boy over there. I always leave him one shot, because if I kill him dogs are going to come out and then I'm going to have dogs running about while I'm trying to take unstoppables. It's all efficiency. That's You have to think in terms of that, guys. You've got to think in terms of when something goes wrong, and this is, I hear a lot of people say that they're solo players. Solo players think in a certain way. People that play on their own think in a different way. Solo players think in terms of, right, well, that didn't work. What was it that didn't work? Why didn't it work and how can I make it better? How can I change that? You have to always try and think in terms of maximizing DPS safely. Now, a lot of players don't do that. A lot of players that class themselves as solo players, they don't think like that. All they're interested in is maximizing their DPS. I see tons of runs where, and you guys have probably seen them as well, uh, tons of runs where you think to yourself, Jesus, how many times did that guy almost die? Uh, for me, I don't really class that as a guide. I class that as a lucky run. Because it doesn't matter how experienced you are. Most solo players will tell you it can happen. But it doesn't matter how experienced you are. If you're, if, if, if you're almost dying and you know what to do, then it's, it's not a repeatable run. You want to maximize your damage whilst keeping yourself safe and making sure you've got the right weapons, loadout, and abilities to you know to help you achieve that goal. What I'm doing here, I had three rockets. Put that's one for each unstoppable. I now have a whole host of rockets, and we've got one of these unstoppables ready to be finished to get even more ammo. So I'm we're gonna stop this guy here, and I'm just gonna run up. And finish this guy behind him. I've got heavy for days. Then I've got dodge and go invis. He has no clue. For some reason he thinks I am underneath his feet. And guess what? He's finishable as well. So so the, the reason why I said about doing things safely. And all of that, all, all that good stuff. Is this, this area here can trip you up. But as you've seen, and people say it to me literally almost every run, you make it look so easy. And that's be 
One of the biggest problems people will find in GMs is overextension, right? Trying to do more than their class, subclass, weapons, loadout, abilities, whatever it might be, knowledge, confidence, trying to do more than they should. You have to know when to go, okay, now back away. Okay, I'm not going to push that guy. I've seen it in a video, but I'm not going to push that guy because I'm not sure I've got whatever that this is, ammo, angle, you know, time. Could be anything. So overextension, you know, don't write checks that your character can't cash, for want of a better word. Uh, normally, all you get up here is this dude. Sometimes you will get a barrier that teleports up here. Now, I always, nearly always jump up there and take that guy. Get some of these, uh, get some of these uh, volcanic uh, Scorpius turrets out the way. Just can't really put another rocket on them because the next rocket will kill them. So I have a grenade. I'll put the grenade on them. That weakens them. The bow is doing tons more damage. He's just about ready to be finished. So I'll let him back away. He won't come to... When you go through that door, that's his point. That's, he might chase you around the corner, but he, once he sees you going out of that door, he wants nothing to do with it. So he'll back away. So that is your safe zone there. We'll just finish him. That's a brick of heavy that we can call back on. Now I'll dodge, go invis, and take out the last Scorpius turret, which means the boss, he he's he's gone. You know, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my grenade. And as you can see, even just running around in a circle, I got both of them quick time. And I'll toss a grenade over on the boy over on that side. She'll eat away at him. And I'll just add, add a couple of grenade shots. I've got so much heavy. I'm going to fire a rocket down behind that box to take the other uh, honored phalanx. And then we'll jump up here and take the other ads. See there, there's a couple of ads floating about. And they, they just, as soon as I went up there, they were like, no, 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 no. Hold this for me while you're there. So there we go. That is one enemy taken. There's a couple more. And I can already see the barriers. There's two barriers. And over on the other side, there will be... A whole host of uh, Scorpius turrets up top as well, but we don't really want these guys kind of floating about. There's the barrier there. So I fired one rocket. I tried to get a reload just to make life easier. Didn't manage to do it, so I'll put another one. And then reload, and we'll try and stick another one on. And then that's one barrier down. Like I said, I've got, I've got quite, quite a bit of heavy on the floor. So I'm not really struggling for heavy ammo. As soon as you take the ads that came out... What, so kind of the way this area works, if you didn't already know. When you come into this area, let's say you're doing a master. Maybe one time I'll do it just for a laugh. Uh, people don't do it so much now because of the champions. But if you run past that first area, this first bridge, and go to the second bridge, you only have to kill... You only have to kill the turrets on this side to get the ads on the other side to appear, right? When the ads appear, you can. before we had champions, you could kill all the ads as soon as they appeared on the other, on the other bridge on the right-hand side. You could kill them all, and then you, you, would, you, you would have access to the bridge. You could skip all this area just by doing those two things. Running past this bridge to the second bridge, and killing the turrets back on the first bridge. And then, when we get over to this second... I'm calling them bridges just for ease of use. Uh, when we jump up here, to the right there's a room. Once you, If you come over here and you kill the turrets over on the other side, the ads will all appear in that room. Kill them with one rocket, and you can get on the left and go. But with champions, I think you can still do it. But you just have to be more careful now because of the champions. So, we have the lift. Now, on a master, depending on what you're using, you actually can jump up the chain on the right-hand side. 
uh, go up to when the change cha the chain changes color. It's like almost to the top. Just to make sure you've done it, you can go to the top and come all the way down. Activate the lift. You'll get this drop pod, and then when you get on this lift, the boss will be standing at the top looking at you, and you can just start firing at him from here. He won't start firing at you immediately, or does he? I think he might actually start firing at you immediately, but you can just like get two shots off and then and then uh, hide. So I don't have full rockets. So we're going to do a bit of super. And then one, two, and then I'm going to put one more on him because we, we, we're not going to put one more on him. Oh no, I, I, yeah, yeah. I thought I put one more. I actually do actually think I put one more on him, but I didn't. So no, it is what it is. Now we've got to get him shielded so he's up there i'll put a rocket on him i need to keep one at least one for uh the what you call it the ship so what we've got to do now is I'll, you've got to be very careful his stream will go from green to yellow to br like a, a ready brown and then he'll fire and it goes it, it actually goes back green and then he'll fire if he hits you with that, it's over. So always wait for the snipe to finish and then get out there. I'm just, I don't want to use this last rocket. And the, uh, he, he, he'll put his, he'll put his shield, once he puts his shield up, we'll go. And I'll just, there we go. And now we're gonna have a bunch of enemies around here. I'm just, I'm now looking for the, the thresher, there's the thresher, and as soon as it stops, get a rocket on it, and then we'll just take the rest out with the bow. Now remember what I said about the tank, you can do the same thing with the rockets here. Get them to fire at you, they'll fire in one stream, and then you just move out the way. And there we go, that's the, that's the, the thresher down. No, I've just got, there is a legionary round here. Uh, sorry, a bunch of legionaries and a centurion. Centurion's the one to watch. And be very careful that you're not being too aggressive and you're not poking out while they're throwing grenades because if one of the grenades hits you, solar damage, it's over. That can happen as well, so, you know, what did happen? I moved just in time that... But it actually, that's how much damage those things do. But because we're tight in on the left, we're fine. And we'll just... Could have went in fizz. Didn't need to. And there we go. Now, this is where the Stompy... The, the, the Frosties come in. Remember I said that I had this idea and I thought, oh my god, it's going to look mental. This is the idea I had to start with, right? And I've left this in so you guys can see my thought process. Because it actually plays out on the screen. So at first I was like, yeah, I just, cool. I just run around in circles and we get grenades. Brilliant. And then after doing this for maybe 10 seconds, I was like, nah, I am not doing that. I'm not running around in circles. So... I kept going, and then eventually I was like, maybe maybe I should just run in straight lines. You know, because I was getting really, really annoyed with doing this, and I, was, I wasn't looking at the screen when I was doing it half the time, so a couple of times I got my grenade and didn't know I had it. So, eventually, I'm going to start running in straight lines, like a relay, up and down, just to change the momentum. I am going to speed this footage up a little bit, so we're running up and down now. When I find my actual groove, what I'm going to be doing, which is, it was a lot simpler than doing this. Literally what I'm going to do, now you can see I've got rapid cooldown on, on the left hand side of the screen. That tells you that the Frosties are charging your abilities faster, right? So what I'm going to do eventually is I'm just going to, the wall that's below the boss, I, I, I'm just going to run into it and just keep running against the wall. And... And that's all you've got to do. Just run against that red barrier. 
as long as you see rapid cooldown, you will keep getting your, your charge. You know, the only other thing I've kind of got to say on it is the rapid cooldown. Uh, if you dodge and go invis, if you dodge and go invis, you need to make sure you sprint again afterwards. Because you won't just sprint into the wall, dodge, go invis, and then keep sprinting. You'll be walking afterwards. And that's that's literally what we're going to do, right? It's just we're going to run at this wall, going to recharge what we need quickly, and throw them and kill them. So, I could have dodged here. I remember thinking it was a few times like this where I thought, uh, I should maybe just keep my, my dodge. Very soon I'm going to run at this wall. Very soon. So while I'm while I'm running up and down here like a complete lunatic, the news that I have to announce, and I'm very proud of this, very happy, very excited, is I have been invited onto Abontus's Last Word podcast, which I think I'm doing on Thursday. I don't know if it's available on Thursday. This this Thursday coming, so was that the twenty fourth or something? Uh, I hope. Anybody that follows me and is interested in what I do, I hope you guys tune in. It's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. It's the first time I've ever been invited on to something like this, so I am quite excited about it. Uh, it's nothing. You guys might not think it's much, but for me, I'm I'm, you know, chance to talk about Destiny for two hours, loving it. Uh, so as soon as as soon as i find out where it's going to be made available i will share the link to it to my twitter if you don't follow me on twitter you should find me on twitter i post little clips and little video clips and conversation that i don't have on youtube uh but uh this i'm i'm not using this video to self-promote myself it just filling up the time at the end but i am very very excited to be on uh, the Last Word podcast with Abontis, and I think, I'm not sure if Lord Cognito is going to be on it as as the other host, but uh, they've had a lot of big guests on there, a lot of guys that you guys all know, like Bife and stuff, so I'm very, very, very honoured to be invited onto that. And I thought I'd let you guys know in case you actually did want to tune in and, and hear it. This is where, now, I'm going to just run at the wall, right? I think. I think it's no. I remember doing the jump. Uh, there we go. So, as you can see, I'm just running against the wall. Now, I speed it up in a second. I'm hoping you get to see it before I speed it up. Right? See how I've dodged? And then I sprinted again. When you throw your grenade, run against the wall, got the rapid cooldown, you can actually look up at the platform. You see there, I'm speeding this up because it's just going to be this for, you know, a couple more minutes. But you can actually look up as you're sprinting. As long as you see rapid cooldown on your your screen, you're golden. You know, and I think the hunt, the titan, the warlock, sorry, all in. I think the warlock took me like 54 minutes. This is 10 minutes faster than what the warlock done. Now, I'm sure the warlock could have went faster. It's crazy to think that the hunter can actually do this very efficiently as well. And you can see there, I'm still getting rapid cooldown. I'm watching this last grenade chew away the boss. And there you go, guys. That is the third and final uh, solo grandmaster of of this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. I certainly have enjoyed making these videos. Uh, hopefully, we can keep doing this. Although, the next three that I've got to do are... They're a lot more difficult than this, so I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it every week. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the run. For the person that asked for the Hunter run, I hope, I hope this is exactly what you were looking for. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.